first things first okay you have just uh, hooked up the vehicle um, you've plugged it in and you've connected to the ECU for the first time um, all of your settings will be blank and uh, just into their default mode so don't freak out um, we're gonna change all that very quickly but the first thing we need to do is update the firmware make sure you're using the most recent firmware version um, you'll click here and then here you see a list of the different versions that are released and they're all part of the original software file that you downloaded from sky CNG so um, you'll see multiple ones you want the most recent release date so here we have uh, May the 9th 2014 uh, you can see that so you'll just simply double click here and upload firmware and it'll this one's already been done but um, it'll you know that's why it's not like I'm clicking on it and it's not letting me do anything because uh, I've already I'm already using it you know 138552 138552 but you double click on that you'll upload it it's very important to make sure that you don't disturb it um, during the uh, firmware upload it'll take maybe three five minutes uh, make sure you've got good battery power and a good connection uh, or you will destroy the ECU and it'll ruin it uh, after that you'll go back to settings <clears throat> and you can go to actually you'll go to program and you can go to read settings and you can upload the settings file uh, from that you got from sky CNG or you can use a settings file that you may have uh, had previously from a, another install and then uh, once you do those two things you will be ready to move to auto calibration.